So today I'm going to be showing you guys two more ways in which you can fix the current input timing is not supported by the monitor display. I've made a previous video regarding this topic and for most of you guys it actually worked. But for those who didn't work, well then maybe this tutorial might help you out. So here are two more ways in which you can fix this error right here. So first method is by enabling narrator and navigating to the settings window. So first you guys wanna go ahead and press control windows and enter key at the same time. So let me just go ahead. Control windows and enter. It should say all of these stuff. That means you have enabled narrator. Now you guys wanna go ahead and press windows and D to minimize everything on the desktop here. So press Windows and D here. And it should say this PC or it should actually say the first uh, file on the top of your desktop. So now what you want to do is if you're familiar with your desktop, you guys want to go ahead and right click an empty area if you guys are familiar with your desktop. So go ahead and right click and it should say pop up window. So go ahead and press the up or down arrow key until you find the display settings. Once you hear display settings, go ahead and press enter to open the display settings. Once it says the settings window, you guys want to go ahead and press tab until you find the display resolution setting. So I'm going to press tab now. Once you hear display resolution, go ahead and press the enter key right here. And it will say out the resolution that it is configured in right now. So once you guys hear the resolution, you guys want to go ahead and use the up and down arrow keys to navigate through the resolutions which your monitor supports. So in my case, I'll just go to the recommend. Okay, so once you've applied your display settings, you guys can go ahead and press Alt F4 to exit the uh, app right there. And after that, you guys want to go ahead and restart your system. And as you guys can see, it is booting. So once it boots up, there is a 50 50 chance it's either going to fix the problem or a 50-50 chance it's going to actually still stay the same problem. Now, <coughs> unfortunately for me, this method does not work um, for me particularly, but don't worry guys, I have a second method to do this. So, so as you guys can see, it doesn't work for me, but for some of you guys, the first method here may work. Now the second method requires an external display. This can be anything like a TV right here or a external monitor. Anything that you can connect to your PC right here. So in my case I'll just be using that right here. I'll be using this. And I'm going to be connecting it with the HDMI cable that's attached to the TV right there. Okay, now first of all with your external monitor or display, you guys want to go ahead and select an HDMI port. Okay, so once you've gotten your external display, in my case it's the smart TV right here. You guys want to go ahead and plug in your HDMI cable as I said previously. And once you've connected your uh, cable to the device here, once you've connected this, your monitor will instantly blink and it'll turn back the way it was. But unfortunately, this doesn't fix the problem completely as if 
you unplug the cable, the monitor will go back to the way it was. So to fix that, you guys want to go ahead and plug in the external display, again as I said. You guys can go ahead and plug in the external key right there. Now you guys can go ahead and go to your uh, Windows key right here. And then you guys can go to Microsoft Store right there. Now once you're in the Microsoft Store, you guys want to go ahead and search for the Intel HD Graphics Command Center. Graphics command center is right there. Do you guys want to go ahead and install this to your system? I already have this installed, so I don't need to install it. So, after you've installed it, go ahead and open the Intel Graphics Command Center. Once it's done loading, you guys want to go ahead and go to the display section right here. And you guys want to go ahead and go to the resolution uh, options here. And if you have a custom resolution set right here, you guys want to go ahead and press the X right here which will remove the custom uh, resolution that way when you unplug this it won't change to the initial resolution that you've added so go ahead and press remove right here your monitor will blink once and now as you guys can see the resolution has gone so now if you close all of this and unplug your monitor will stay the same as you guys can see right here so if it's all stretched up like this you guys can go ahead and go to your display settings right here and you guys can just change it back to the way it was so that's how to fix it hope this helped and i'll see you guys again very very soon